If you have been following my YouTube channel, then you will know I use Fujifilm cameras and also I use Capture One to process all my Fuji RAW files. Today I am very excited because Fujifilm and Capture One announced software collaboration and in this video I'm going to talk about what that means for Fujifilm users. Coming up. Today I was reading all comments under that giveaway video trying to pick a winner. Then this news caught me off guard or let's say it's a surprise. So I decided to talk about this first. With that being said, please stay tuned. I will announce the giveaway winner later this week. Today Fujifilm and Capture One announced their software collaboration and today Capture One dropped an update, Capture One Pro 11.3. Now in this update, it supports all Fujifilm cameras, including the new X-T3 and GFX 50S. That's a big news. I read many people say Capture One will never support GFX 50S because it's a medium format camera and Capture One's maker, Face One, has its own medium format camera system. They are competitors. Why would they support GFX 50S in Capture One? Mm -mm. Today with Capture One Pro 11.3, now it supports Fujifilm GFX 50S, which is also a medium format camera. So now if you have that medium format camera from Fujifilm, you can use Capture One to process your Fuji RAW files. And also I want to mention that again, now Fuji X-T3 is also supported in Capture One Pro 11.3. That's very fast because last time when Fuji released Fuji X-H1, I think it took probably a couple months before they added the support in Capture One. But right now, very soon after Fuji X-T3 is released and it is now supported in Capture One. I think that's a great news for those of you who just bought Fuji X-T3. The second major update is that the new Capture One Pro 11.3 now supports tether shooting for Fujifilm GFX 50S, Fujifilm X-H1, Fujifilm X-T3, Fuji X-T2, and the Fuji X-Pro2. If you have one of those Fujifilm cameras, now you can do tethered shooting directly with Capture One Pro without any other software. The third major update is film simulations. Film simulations are finally coming to Capture One. Although they are not included in 11.3, but film simulations are going to be included in the next release. I think it's going to be a great news for a lot of you guys who love film simulations from Fujifilm. I read a lot of comments under my YouTube videos saying the only reason they are staying with Lightroom is because they can choose profiles, they can choose film simulations in Lightroom. So now very soon you are going to be able to choose profiles, film simulations in Capture One as well. In addition to Capture One Pro 11.3, today Phase One also announced Capture One Pro for Fujifilm and Capture One Express for Fujifilm. What's the difference and which version you should choose for your Fujifilm RAW files? Now let's talk about that. First of all, all three versions supports all Fujifilm cameras. The only difference between Capture One Pro and Capture One Pro for Fujifilm is that Capture One Pro for Fujifilm only supports Fujifilm cameras. The other difference between Capture One Pro and Capture One Pro for Fujifilm is that Capture One Pro for Fujifilm currently only offers a subscription plan. Where Capture One Pro, you can either go with a subscription plan or you can purchase a full license. Now the difference between Capture One Pro for Fujifilm and Capture One Express for Fujifilm is that Capture One Express for Fujifilm is free. You don't need to pay anything to get the software license. But the features in Capture One Express for Fujifilm is limited compared to Capture One Pro for Fujifilm. For example, Capture One Express for Fujifilm doesn't have tether shooting supported, doesn't have uh, layers, doesn't have advanced color editing tools that you can find in Capture One Pro or Capture One Pro for Fujifilm. Although Capture One Express for Fujifilm doesn't have tether shooting supported, it will have film simulations in the next release. Now let's talk about which version you should choose. First of all, if you absolutely hate the subscription plan and you want to have all the features offered by Capture One, then you need to go with Capture One Pro because you can purchase a full license for Capture One Pro. If you absolutely hate the 
subscription plan, but you don't need all those features from Capture One. You just want something cheap, something to convert your Fuji RAW files, then Capture One Express for Fujifilm is a good option for you because it's free. If you have a different camera brand other than Fujifilm and sometimes you want to use Capture One to process those RAW files, then you want to go with Capture One Pro as well. Because Capture One Pro for Fujifilm and the Capture One Express for Fujifilm only supports Fujifilm cameras. For example, I have some Nikon gear, so if one day I go out to shoot some uh, photos with my Nikon uh, D750, then I won't be able to use Capture One Pro for Fujifilm to process Nikon RAW files. With Capture One Pro, you can not only process your Fujifilm RAW files, you can also process other camera brand RAW files as well. But if you are shooting with Fujifilm cameras only and you are okay or you prefer the subscription plan, then I would recommend Capture One Pro for Fujifilm over Capture One Pro because you can save some money compared to the subscription plan for Capture One Pro. No matter which version you choose, don't forget you can save some money by using the coupon code AMBCAI when you check out. Or if you are upgrading from a previous Capture One version or you are using an annual subscription plan, you can also save some money using the coupon code AMBCAI. I will do some tutorial videos on Capture One tether shooting for Fujifilm cameras as well as film simulations when they come available in the future. So please stay tuned. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you are the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tricks and tutorials. Don't forget to use the coupon code AMBCAI to save some money when you purchase Capture One. It works for bundles, full license, upgrades, and the annual subscription plan. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and hope to see you next time. Bye.